Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in this video I'm going to give you my top 10 best picture winners that I would like to see on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, in this video, I will be giving you the top 10 best picture winners that I would like to see on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. This past weekend was the Academy Awards, and when it comes to the best pictures, in recent years at least, we always seem to get a 4K disc at home, uh, with this year maybe being an exception considering Coda was a uh, Apple TV streaming film. We might not get this on a physical format, but regardless, recent winners, that has, that has been the case. And it really got me to thinking back to the long history of the Academy Awards. So many great films have won Best Picture that I think deserve the best possible way to watch it at home. You know, with the enhanced picture and just often audio upgrades, I want to see some of these movies make the physical formats, and while they might have really good Blu-rays, you can always improve upon that. So in this video, I will be giving you my personal list of 10 Best Picture winners that I feel deserve a 4K disc. As with all my top 10 lists, this is going to be my personal list. Yours will, of course, be very different, so I encourage you to put in the comment section below what Best Picture winners of the past would you like to see on 4K. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's dive right into my number 10. For my first pick, that is gonna go to Amadeus. When it comes to a film like Amadeus, being a period piece about Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, you of course are going to get some great set pieces here. And the movie itself, I feel still really holds up so many years later. I am very excited at the potential of a 4K Ultra HD. I really think this one's gonna happen. I believe it will be on the short list within the next few years. And imagine an audio upgrade. It doesn't have to be Atmos, but something a little bit more immersive considering all the music used in the film. I'm very hopeful we get a 4K disc of this one one day. I think just the costume designs would really burst off the screen with an HDR color grading. So yeah, that is why it is my number 10. For my number nine, that's gonna go to Oliver Stone's Platoon. I've included Platoon on a past most wanted 4K list and for this being a best picture winner, it had to go on this one as well. This movie, I think, really would shine on the format and definitely more so if you upgrade the audio mix. I think in Atmos, especially during the action wartime scenes, would really set this one apart. And of course, a great HDR or Dolby Vision grading would also bring out the jungle setting very well. I think this movie, there are, when I think of this film, there are so few Oliver Stone movies on 4K, so let's get that ball rolling. Let's put Platoon on that list and hopefully one day we will see it happen. And number eight, that will go to The Sound of Music. This Julie Andrews musical would absolutely look breathtaking on 4K. The picturesque setting alone, I think, would really just bring out colors with HDR. And let's go ahead and upgrade the audio as well. So when we get any kind of music, I think it would really just use the entire surround sound environment in a nice way. I'm dubious this will ever happen. I believe 20th Century Pictures, owned by Disney, who's been very frugal with 4K releases lately. I, I don't know. I I think in my heart, I would love to see this one on 4K. This is definitely a wish list item. And a lot of people would agree that the sound of music on 4K should be a must own. At number seven, that is gonna go to Rocky. Before you start typing, yes, I'm aware Rocky is in 4K on the digital platform, but this channel is all about the physical media, so that is why it's on the list. And as a side note, let's also see the sequels in 4K as well. When it comes to underdog movies, I think Rocky stands apart from many of those, and it really showcases why it won the best picture. It is an absolutely great film, and now as far as a 4K release goes with uh, Amazon's recent purchase of MGM's uh, film library, it remains unclear how 4K physical discs are gonna be released from them going forward, if any. So this is probably going to fall under a wish list uh, for the foreseeable future, but I think many would agree that a 4K disc of Rocky and the sequels would really be just a welcome thing. For number six, that is gonna go to Dances with Wolves. I think many would just absolutely agree that this movie deserves a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray release. 
It is such an epic film. The cinematography is gorgeous and it would really shine to another level with an HDR pass through. And let's go ahead, upgrade the audio also. I think an Atmos track would really just bring you into the film like it never has before. I love this movie. It is epic. It's It's got a great historical feel to it. And, it, you know, it deserves a place on the 4K format. So, yes, Dances with Wolves, I'm hopeful one day we will see this on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. My number five in this top ten list is No Country for Old Men. The Coen brothers are another pair of directors that have very little 4K discs out there. And there are so many of their films that I would love to see on the format. So let's stick to the Best Picture winner here. This movie is a gritty crime drama with an outstanding cast. Uh, the location is really used very well, effectively. And I think just visually would look really good on 4K. And just the audio, I think, would really benefit from an upgrade as well. It's not going to be, I would feel, the most immersive track out there, but something, you know, for us audiophiles would very much be appreciated. I am a big fan of the film, and, you know, let's see a lot of Coen Brothers movies on the format, as I said earlier, but yeah, No Country for Old Men, I would love to see a 4K disc. At number four, that will go to Martin Scorsese's The Departed. This is another movie that has made a previous 4K wish list of mine, and yes, as a Best Picture winner, it's going to make this one as well. I love this film. I think it has an outstanding cast. It's another gritty crime drama that I think would look visually very nice on the format. And, you know, hopeful, wishful thinking, an Atmos upgrade would also really benefit. I am such a huge fan of this one. I personally believe it's one of Scorsese's best films. It's definitely in my top five of his. And I, you know, I'm glad that the director's work does appear on 4K uh, a little more regularly. So let's add this one to the list. Warren Brothers, let's make it happen. Let's see The Departed on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. My number three pick is something that I feel Thanos would say would be inevitable, and that is Ben-Hur. When you think of Ben-Hur, you really think of cinematic Hollywood at its finest. It's grand, it's epic in scale, and it's classic old Hollywood. You know, with the studios really relying on the format to bring movies like Ben-Hur to modern audiences with the best possible picture and uh, audio upgrades, Ben-Hur, I think it's coming. I've heard rumors that it's coming. And, you know, with Sony and, and Warner Brothers and Paramount really just giving us the best of classic Hollywood on the format, I think Ben-Hur will be coming very soon. So, yes, come on, bring it. Let's see it. Ben-Hur on 4K disc. My number two is another rumored film to appear on 4K at the end of this year, and that is James Cameron's Titanic. When you think of this film, it really invokes a lot of passion and so many people. And going back to grand epic scale Hollywood films of the past, Titanic is one of those quote unquote modern films that really measures up to that level. This movie would be epic on the formats, especially if it's, you know, done in a great way, unlike, you know, Cameron's Terminator 2, which we won't talk about here, but with so few movies of Cameron's on 4K disc, this one, it really should be on it. I think a great Atmos upgrade would just take this to another level. And the picture enhanced with HDR and Dolby Vision, it would be visually breathtaking. I'm hopeful we see this one on 4K sooner if rumors are to believed. But yes, Titanic should be on 4K Ultra HD. Before I get to my number one, just a few quick honorable mentions. Gone with the Wind. You know, this movie has a bit of modern controversy attached to it, but you can't deny that the grandness and epic nature of the film should be seen on the best possible format. I recently rewatched this one on Blu-ray, and I feel that there's definitely some improvements that can be made to the picture quality. And, you know, even though the age of the film might not warrant an Amos upgrade, I still think that there could be some tinkering done in that department, but yeah, I think Gone with the Wind would make an absolutely fantastic 4K disc. In Out of Africa. This is another film with Robert Redford and Meryl Streep that has such a wonderful cinematography attached to it. The locations would look beautiful with HDR and Dolby Vision. And the movie, I feel, gets a little overlooked these days, but it's definitely worthy of a 4K disc. And this one is more of a personal favorite of mine, but Shakespeare in Love. I know this one gets a little bit of hate in, in certain circles, but 
I like the film a lot. I think it has a great just story. The, the setting is wonderful, and I think the set pieces and costumes would look great on 4K with HDR. So yes, those are a few honorable mentions that I would like to see on 4K. And for my number one best picture winner that I would like to see on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, that will go to Casablanca. Considering this year is the 80th anniversary of the film, I would be absolutely shocked if we did not get a 4K disc in 2022. I've heard rumors that it's possibly coming this year, and, you know, thinking of old Hollywood, classic cinema, this one really fits the bill. It would look beautiful on 4K with HDR Dolby Vision. It's a black and white film, but I feel that those really benefit well on the 4K formats. It's just such a, a, a treasured piece of cinema. I'm hopeful, and I'm very optimistic we're going to see this one this year. So that is why Casablanca is my number one pick. So those are my top 10 best picture winners that I would love to see on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. Now it's your turn in the comments section. What best pictures from the Academy Awards in years past would you love to see on the 4K format? Let's talk about it in the comments below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.